If on August 21st, 2017, you suddenly feel like it might be the end of the world, don't worry, it's just a solar eclipse. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the series from WatchMojo.com where we look at news stories that should be on your radar. Shut up about the sun! SHUT UP ABOUT THE SUN! Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. In this installment, we're taking a look at five things you need to know about the solar eclipse. Number five, what are the different types of eclipses? An eclipse happens once in a while, but this one is getting a lot of hype because a good chunk of people in the United States will be able to see a total eclipse, meaning that the moon will pass between the Earth and Sun and for a moment block the Sun entirely. This is only one type of eclipse though, as depending on the distance between the moon and the Earth, there can also be an annular eclipse, where a ring of sun is visible around the moon. Most people across North America, though, will see a partial eclipse, meaning only a portion of the sun will be blocked by the moon. Number four, how does an eclipse like this actually happen? The orbit of the moon is not perfectly circular, but rather more of an oval or elliptic shape. As a result, the distance between the moon and Earth can vary. In order for a complete solar eclipse to happen, a huge number of circumstances must line up, most notable that the moon's orbit must come directly between the Earth and the Sun, and the moon must be as close to the Earth as possible, thus appearing larger to people looking up from the Earth's surface. If the moon was further away, but still passed directly in front of the Sun, it would result in an annular eclipse. Number 3. How rare is a total eclipse? A total solar eclipse happens on average every 18 months. Don't think if you miss this one you can just wait a year and a half though. Because the eclipse is only visible from a small part of the Earth, a total eclipse is only visible from any single location once every 360 to 410 years. On top of that, over the course of thousands of years, the moon is slowly moving further away from the Earth, meaning that total eclipses will become more rare and have a shorter duration in the future. Number 2. Will you be able to see it? In this rare event, the total eclipse should be visible for approximately 2 minutes and 40 seconds. There's a very specific track where this will be visible, roughly 70 miles wide, that will cut through the United States from Oregon to South Carolina. For the rest of the United States, as well as most of North America, a partial eclipse will be visible, but the further you are from the path of totality, the less of the sun will be blocked. Number 1. Is it safe to look at the eclipse? If you're wondering whether or not it's dangerous to look at a solar eclipse, let's think for a moment. It's dangerous to stare at the sun, period. And just because 90% of the sun is blocked, the 10% still visible could do permanent damage to your eyes, and dark sunglasses aren't good enough. If you want to be able to see the eclipse, you're going to need special eclipse glasses, which block out 99.9999% of light. Make sure you get the proper ones too. NASA has recommended a number 12 or 13 level welder's mask at least, so don't go buying cheap glasses from a non-reputable source. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.